Hello one of a person, this is Anton and today we're going to start our video right here around this area. Can you guess where this is? Well, this is actually in Mexico and as you can probably tell from the title, we're going to be talking about the asteroid that allegedly killed the dinosaurs. Today we're going to actually discuss um, a paper that provides a little bit more insight as to what may have actually happened and what really killed the dinosaurs and most importantly we're going to do some exploration and use some maps to find out what else is out there in the world. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. So Yucatan is actually where the dinosaur killing crater is located, but it's very, very difficult to see. It's, it's basically right here in this region. And unfortunately, it's degraded to the point where it's kind of invisible, unless you know what you're looking for. And um, today, most of these scientists agree that it definitely happened and definitely was responsible for um, causing cl climate changes and uh, potentially killing dinosaurs. However, the story is a lot more complex because several other events occurred around the same time that could have actually changed climate uh, even more dramatically. And specifically, the biggest such event that many scientists believed was responsible for this, and the recent study actually uh, indicates it was very likely responsible for killing dinosaurs, is right here in India. The event known as the Deccan Volcanism, or the Deccan Traps Volcano. This event most likely was so powerful that it absolutely certainly changed the climate of our planet. Now the problem with uh, the Deccan traps as they're known, and traps here doesn't mean like a trap where you trap someone, it's actually a Swedish word for staircases because of the shape that they form. And so essentially this event um, was not really well dated, mostly because it was very difficult to find a lot of uranium in those um, particular regions, as essentially volcanoes rarely produce um, this particular uranium deposits, which is necessary for us to use what's known as uranium dating. It's kind of like carbon dating, but for rocks. But over time, the scientists behind this paper were actually lucky enough to find uranium lead uh, zirconium deposits, which were exactly what they needed to discover when exactly the volcanic eruption occurred. Now, how big was this volcanic eruption? Well, you actually have to look at the entire continent here and uh, allegedly, it was about one and a half million square kilometers, which is essentially half of India. That's how big this was. But because it was a basaltic volcano, similar to the ones on Hawaii, it wasn't just uh, actually exploding all the time, it was actually just releasing a lot of gas. And all of this gas that was released very likely influenced the atmosphere so much that it may have lowered the temperature by as much as 20 degrees Celsius, basically turning our beautiful planet from a potentially a tropical paradise to a uh, kind of a tundra-like environment with really, really cold weather that very likely killed a lot of plants and most likely also killed a lot of dinosaurs. But the scientists behind this paper obviously don't discredit the findings uh, from previous research that talks about the Yucatan crater that's located right here in Mexico because uh, we know that it happened around the same time. So a much better uh, proposal that they suggest is that both events actually happened around the same time and reinforce each other's, um, well, essentially negative effects on our planet's atmosphere. In other words, the volcanic eruption of the Deccan Plains that I believe are somewhere in the central India right here, I need to actually look it up. So it's essentially this area right here, equivalent to basically half of India on the west coast. Um, so this particular event very likely began right before this happened. So um, the second eruption, which was actually pretty massive, was about 10,000 years or approximately 10,000 years before the impact. And once the impact occurred, there are two things that may have actually occurred. Firstly, the impact may have actually caused the uh, magma inside the volcano to come out even more because of the disruption of the planetary crust. And this actually increased the volcanic eruptions while at the same time, on the opposite side of the planet, right here in Mexico, uh, the other side of the planet was also covered in all of this dust and sulfur and water vapor that uh, started changing the atmosphere of our planet from two sides at the same time. Um, and two more additional eruptions of the Deccan Traps most likely basically finished the dinosaurs off completely. And what's really important to realize is that, according to the researchers, um, for the most part, 
all of the uh, extinction events were somehow correlated with large volcanic eruptions, which actually gives this particular idea, this hypothesis, a lot more credence. Um, it's very likely that it was really the combination of different events that essentially caused the extinction event that killed 75% of all of the plants and animals on the surface of our planet. And this idea is further reinforced by other research that suggested that dinosaurs were already dying out when this happened. So this particular impact may have added to the insult in a sense, it basically increased the chance of all those animals dying, but it wasn't the start or the end of this particular story. The extinction event itself was a much longer process that most likely was highly influenced by the Deccan traps right here in India. And India actually does potentially have another crater nearby that may have even initiated the Deccan Trap eruption, at least according to one of the researchers that I've read about. Um, there is, I believe this right here is the Shiva crater as it's known, um, that some scientists, or maybe that's not here. Let's look it up. I can probably find it using the coordinates that I have. And, oh, okay, so it's actually right there. Even though that looked like a crater, apparently it wasn't. So the Shiva crater is allegedly located right here, even though there's no actual indication of this being a crater. But one of the Indian scientists actually suggested that there was another impact crater right here that may have actually initiated the um, eruption approximately 66 billion years ago. And this, along with the um, eruption in India and along with, of course, the crater that was formed by the impact in Mexico, eventually led to the demise of dinosaurs, the survival of so-called avian dinosaurs, the flying dinosaurs, and of course the evolution of mammals and their eventual takeover of the planet. And personally, I actually like that explanation a lot more than um, a single impact or just the volcanic eruption itself. It's very likely that it was just an unfortunate uh, event or series of events that eventually changed the atmosphere of our planet so much that most animals and most plants just couldn't really handle it. One of the biggest supports uh, of this particular hypothesis is of course the fact that even in, in our own history, the um, human history that is, we've actually witnessed at least a few um, really powerful volcanic eruptions that dropped the temperature of our planet by quite a lot. And I'm actually going to mention this in one of the future videos that's coming out, I believe sometime next month, where we're going to actually discuss how our own history was influenced by these volcanic eruptions. And if a smaller volcanic eruption can do that. Imagine what such a huge eruption size of basically half of India could do. So yeah, those events are really powerful, very, very influential. And it would not be surprising that there's even more support over time where we discover that basically all of the extinction events in the history of our planet may have actually happened as a result of volcanic eruptions. And so with time, we'll hopefully be able to actually find exactly what happened to our planet. But there's also a chance that we'll keep arguing about this for many, many years to come. This debate actually started back in the 80s. And back then, the scientists were not so nice to each other about it. There was uh, basically a group of people that believed it was the asteroid and a group of people that believed it was something else. And they were really getting angry at each other for not agreeing with each other. Now, whether this will actually lead to more of those really angry rants and uh, debates is another story. But for now, all I'm going to say is that just remember to keep your mind open and remember that even though we think that the asteroid may have uh, actually influenced the demise of dinosaurs, it's very, very likely this was not the only thing that happened. And it's very likely that the volcanic eruption influenced the uh, extinction with much more effect. On that note, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out and as always, bye-bye.